All right, episode five, here we go. We're gonna be doing the last hero from Hero Quest, which is the Elf. Um, pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Um, some simple colors, you're gonna need some contrast paints and regular base paints from Citadel. Uh, first off, as always, I'd like to thank the YouTube members um, for supporting this channel. You guys are awesome, thank you so much. You guys help um, with the monetary factor of this because it does take a lot of time and effort, as you can imagine. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up, hit that bell so you get alerted when the new video is coming out. We're going hard, but let's go. All right, the first thing we're gonna be doing is scraping off all these nasty mold lines, which there is a ton. As you're going through the video, and you can't remember which paints are used hit that description below for a full paint list and if you need links to anything i use hit those links as well full disclosure i do take a small fraction of every penny that is spent it's robbery borderline robbery but it does help support the channel so thank you for doing that if you do do that next we're going to take some earth texture from vallejo and put that on the bottom and we're going to let that dry Takes about 10, 15 minutes for it to dry, and then we're gonna hit that with some black primer. I'm using my airbrush because I do a whole bunch at once, but you can use a spray paint from Citadel or Vallejo or Army Paint, whatever you got. We're gonna do black, and then we're gonna do a zenithal highlighting of white to give it that nice dark and light tone. Once our base colors are dry, we're gonna be, our base prime colors, primer colors, there we go. Now we're gonna be using some Agaros Dunes on the base of our miniature. And then we're gonna be using just a couple little dollops of Militarium Green just to break up the colors just a little bit. And to start on our base colors, we're going to be doing some Kislev flesh on all of our skin, which is the face, the neck, the hands, and the arms, and the ears. Next, we're taking some Corax white, and we're going to be doing this on the hair of our miniature. For our metal pieces, we're gonna be using two different types of uh, metal colors. The first one's gonna be granite steel, which is a much brighter bluish type steel look. And we're gonna be doing this on the chest plate, the pauldrons, the hip guards, the backside of the wrist guards, the headband that our elf is wearing, and we're gonna be doing it on the bottom portion of the leg gauntlets or shin guards, I guess you could say. And I might not see, you might not see it in this frame, but that is coming up, so you can do that as well. We're also gonna be doing this on the sword too. For all of our cape portions, we're gonna be doing some warp fiend gray. This is the front and the back of the cape and there are pieces sticking out uh, along the waistline and below the pauldrons. Also, don't forget to put this color on the front portion of the waist where that little pattern is coming down. Um, that's gonna stay that color and not gonna be moved. For our other metal pieces, we're gonna be doing this 
on the chain mail that is on the legs and on the waist portion. We're also going to be doing this on the inside of the wrist guards as well. For our leather belt and pouch, we're going to be using some Mornfang Brown. And for the vials that are on the belt, we're going to be just hitting those with some Korox White real quick. And for the cork portion of the vials, we're going to use some Carrick Stone. And we're going to go back to our belt portion, use some lead belcher on those little metal rivets that are on there. And that's going to be on the three on the front and the one on the side of the pouch. I know you're thinking I'm jumping all over the place. That's why I use a wet palette so I can just quickly clean my brush and move on. Uh, next, we're going to do the vials. And we're going to start with the far right one. And we're going to use some contrast paints, three contrast paints. And the first one's going to be Magos Purple, followed by Talisar Blue, and then Athermatic Blue. And that's all we're going to do for those vials. For the shin guards, we're going to be using some Warplock Bronze. And finally, some Grey Knight Steel, as we had talked about earlier, for those little wraparound metal pieces on the legs. And that's going to be it for our base colors. Now we're gonna create our wash for our purple cape areas. And we're gonna be doing about three to four big drops or brushfuls of our contrast medium, followed by one to two of the Magos purple and one to two Levadon blue. And this is gonna create a very nice bluish purple wash that we're gonna put onto our miniature. If you think it's too thick, you can add some more contrast medium if you want it just a little bit uh, more diluted. We're going to take this color and we're going to put it all over our cape areas to include the cape portions that are sticking out below the pauldrons and the waist. The only thing we are not going to put this on is that little design on the front that is hanging down from the crotch area of our miniature. And as you can tell, it's a very bluish purple look and it looks fantastic. For our skin, we're going to be using some Reichland Flesh Shade, and make sure you put an emphasis on the eye socket area to give you that depth that we're going to need for the eyeball here coming up. For all of our metal bits, of course, we're going to be using some Nolan Oil on those areas just try not to get it onto the cape we don't want to mix that black in with that beautiful blue purple that we had created while you're letting these dry after you're going to do the next step why don't you head over to our instagram at nerd.nights where you can check out and subscribe over there and see everything that we're doing to include some new pokemon reveals that we are doing to expand the channel a little bit and finally, for our last wash, we're going to be doing some Agrax Earthshade onto our leather portion of our miniature. For 
First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the eyes and we're gonna start with some white in those little eye sockets. We don't wanna make those eyes too big, but you can barely tell where the eyeball is supposed to be. Um, so we're gonna put that in there. Next, we're gonna use some Lotharin blue and just gonna put a little circle in there. Be very careful, you don't wanna overdo it because you want to see the white on the outsides of that blue. Finally, we're gonna use some Abaddon black as our little white, or sorry, black pupils that are going in there, and that will create our eye. Next, we're gonna highlight the skin, and we're just gonna do a reapplication of Kiss Live Flesh, and we're gonna be focusing on, obviously, the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, uh, the cheeks themselves, the chin, portions of the neck, our fingertips, and the exposed skin on our elbow area. Next, we're gonna take a 50-50 mix of Kislev Flesh and Flayed One Flesh. We're gonna go over those same areas, but we're gonna do just a little bit less of the surface area that we just went over, creating that nice, tone of highlight. The elf has very pale skin, so we're going to try and make it look as pale as possible. And for a final highlight, we're going to be doing some flayed one flesh. Um, just on those areas on the top of the cheekbones a little bit on the nose fingertips just to create that nice really pale skin look For the hair, we're just gonna do a little reapplication of Corax white We really don't want to get it into the recesses if you do it's okay. It's not a big deal um, as you can see, I smudged some out over there, um, but you just want to get it on the top portion to create that nice white variant. You can also use just pure white if you want to. You want to make it as bright as possible, um, but I just went with the base color. For our bright, shiny metal, we're going to be using a reapplication of Grey Knight Steel. We're going to be doing this on the breastplate, the pauldrons, the hip guards, the knee guards as well, and also on the shin guards to just kind of brighten those up. We're also gonna be doing this on the sword as well, and then we're gonna do a couple things with the sword just to kind of give those letterings some blue pop. To give our leather a little, little reddish look, we're going to use some Doom Bowl Brown. Try not to get it into the recesses like everything else. And for the lettering in the sword, we're going to use some white, followed by with some Lotharum Blue just in the middle of those. To highlight up our cape and our other... Um, I guess you could say feathery areas. We're going to do some morphine gray and we're just going to focus on some of the bottom portions. We're not going to try and overdo this because I feel like the color that we created um, with the washes of the contrast paints really makes it stand out. So we're just going to do this very minimally, uh, picking out certain areas here and there, maybe a little bit of edge highlighting, um, more focusing on the front portion. And then we're going to take some of the slainish gray and we're going to just go over those same areas we just went over, but very minimally, just on the bottom, not overdoing it, and just making it stand out just a little bit more, but not overdoing it. For the inside of the cape, we really don't want to do too much. We want to keep that dark purple-blue look going, trying to match the card art. And for the last couple steps, because this is your favorite part of painting the miniatures, it means you're about done, is we're gonna do the rim of the base in Abaddon Black. 
And just to kind of put it up just a little bit more, give it a little bit more pizzazz, since this is Hero Quest, this is the staple of my childhood, I'm going to take a little dead grass tuff and I'm going to super glue that thing on the bottom of the base. And that's it. We're done. Wasn't too crazy, not too time consuming, and that's what we strive here at Nerd Knights Painting. Get the miniature on the table. We want to play the game, but we want to make it look just a little bit better by having painted miniatures. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. All right, paint on.